Projector or flat screen? Projector or flat screen? Which one should you choose to upgrade your home theater? If you're going for that movie theater level experience in your own home, you're probably already leaning towards a projector. After all, that's what those massive movie houses show their Hollywood blockbusters on to get the biggest, brightest, and best video picture. These days, great quality video is also all about 4K resolution, and projectors can also deliver on this ultra high definition format. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently had the opportunity to test out a new projector from BenQ. This is the 4K BenQ TK800M. Now, I also tried out the TK800 a few months ago, and you can check out that review here on the channel as well. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the differences between those projectors, but we'll focus mainly on what the BenQ TK800M is designed to do for you. And an early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Much like the TK800, setting this projector up is really easy. Connect it to power, then connect your peripheral of choice. I chose to use a Roku 4K media streamer. From there, turn it on and watch the picture pop up. There are several ways to connect any other devices you may want to use. You can connect a computer via the VGA or PC connection. There's two HDMI ports, a mini USB and a regular USB. There's an RS-232 plus spots to plug in a remote trigger, an aux plug for audio out, and an audio in. Let's get right to how this baby looks. BenQ says the TK800M has true 4K ultra high definition resolution, and that's 3840 by 2160 pixels, giving you about 8.3 million total pixels. So how does the video image actually look? It's excellent, it's sharp and realistic. It's bright, even with some TV lights on in here, I think you can probably see it pretty clearly. It's also vivid and quite colorful. The colors are bright and vibrant, and even with some ambient light or an overhead light on, it's easy to see. The picture is clear and even right to the edges. I watched several shows on this projector, including Pine Gap, House of Cards, Sabrina, The Highwayman, and more. I was pretty happy with all of them and how they played on the BenQ TK800M. Even watching really darker scenes didn't seem to be problematic, at least no more so than watching very dark scenes on a 4K TV. I tried using the TK800M in a fully dark room and with the overhead lights on, and while it's obviously optimum in the dark, even with the lights in the room on, it looked fine and didn't feel washed out or dim. Getting the image size and shape just right is going to be your next order of business. Well, it's easy enough to adjust the image size and focus using the two wheels on top of the projector and using the grid guide that's found here in the menu. You can also use BenQ's auto keystone feature, though it's not really what you think it is. As I've said before about this feature, it turns out there's not much auto in auto keystone. It won't size the image for you. Instead, it lets you use cursor controls to make the adjustments, and I don't really call that automatic. Unhelpfully, it also takes a few seconds for the resize to take effect, so it's easy to adjust too much and then need to undo it. This projector can create an image that's nearly 4 meters in size, but for my space I didn't need anything quite that large. I used the projector with my Elune Vision 106 inch Ilera Nano Edge screen, and you can check out my review of that here as well. The TK800M has some other features BenQ touts. There's football mode, which is supposed to give you lifelike skin tones and lush green grass for, quote, a stunning larger than life video picture. So what does soccer look like on it? I can definitely say it's green and colorful, but hey, it's 4K resolution with HDR. I'd expect no less. So is the good look of the video thanks to some special sports mode, or is it because this is a high-end projector? Sounds like marketing speak to me. Speaking of sports, there is also a sport picture mode, which similarly enhances skin tones, but is supposed to add warmer wood tones and vivid red, green, and blue for stunning, fast-paced indoor sports or action on wooden courts. Again, sport mode is supposed to help you cut through crowd noise as well when you're listening to it on the internal speaker. I knew he wasn't going to be in a position. Here's White driving to the basket, layup, missed it! Now is a good time to touch on the speaker quality and sound. I frankly find it a bit silly BenQ is trying to pass off a tiny 5 watt internal speaker as something that's supposed to dazzle you. BenQ says the speaker is housed in a resonant sound chamber for deep bass and soaring highs that will deliver pure clarity and sensual sound quality as used by Hollywood studios. I say, give me a break. If you're dropping this kind of money on a projector for your home theater, you're also the type of person who understands you need your audio quality to match the video. So you definitely need some kind of external speakers to get any kind of joy from this machine. 
The internal speaker does sound okay, but it's very mono sounding, somewhat tinny, and there's not really any bass to speak of. In terms of giving you sensual sound quality, definitely not. You do definitely need to connect this to a proper sound system. There are some small differences between the TK800M here and the TK800, though it's my opinion that the differences are going to seem like kind of small potatoes to the regular Janes and Joes who might be interested in buying this projector. It's more the kind of thing that video files or technicians might be interested in, but just so you know. The throw ratio is slightly different. The zoom effect on each of these is also different, though that difference is pretty small. The TK800 has a 1.2 times zoom, while the TK800M here has a 1.1 times zoom. HDR is also slightly different. The TK800 has HDR10, while the 800M over here has HDR10 with HLG. Now, if you're sitting at home thinking, what is any of that supposed to mean to me as an average consumer? It's a good question. BenQ's quote is that uh, these projectors are supercharged by HDR10 and HLG support, and that this feature is an exclusive to this projector here. So you've got high dynamic range here with the HDR, but according to BenQ, all of this stuff is supposed to offer you greater brightness, a better contrast range, and image optimization, and it's supposed to bring out more detail in 4K video. So I guess what you'll see is a brighter, better quality image overall, despite that giant tech mouthful. The color gamut is also pretty similar. The TK800 gives you 93% color volume, while the TK800M improves that to 96%. The two projectors are both built heavily towards sports fans, otherwise they look almost identical. If you're looking for a great quality home theater projector, you will definitely be happy with the TK800M here. The color, the resolution, and the detail is outstanding. My chief complaints are around the switching of settings. It does take a long time for some of those changes to take effect on the screen, so it does make the projector feel a bit laggy. The speaker, in my opinion, also does not live up to the hype that BenQ presents to you, the consumer, but the video quality is really, really great. If you want to read more, head over to the Best Buy blog at blog.bestbuy.ca. We've got a full write-up there, and you can post any questions you have either there on the blog or here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Until next time, you can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.